Alright, oh look, there's a crazy horses. For, I already bought that for a dollar. I do have it arranged that you can't look at the records. So I guess it is dollar gambling here. The International Wars Code. That's something Tuco would buy. Is this like super old? Not Kate but same sort of thing. Yeah, so this is like if you want to. Dances by the Who for a dollar. We might just gamble on that one. Go goes terrible sheep, and I have it. Shark day. I said I only needed one short day record, but I think a sealed short day record for a dollar. You can't leave. This is the one I bought for ten dollars elsewhere. It's one dollar here. So hey, this is Chris from Record Talk. So you saw uh, me digging through that dollar bin. So uh, Peddler's Mall, which is the largest antique mall in hometown, it's a place I get to go to regularly because it's, well, it's in my hometown. And so obviously, since I've been there many times, whenever I'm going there, I'm making a pretty quick beeline around, basically looking for records um, that I've never seen before. And I found these two bins that had never been there before, discovered that all of the records were a dollar. Uh, you saw me flip through them. Now, the little trick about this place was that all of the records were uh, sealed. I mean, most of them were sealed just with the price tag. I mean, they weren't actually sealed records, but I would have to like break that price tag to look at them. And I decided to gamble for a dollar and to not do that. There was one record that really is sealed, um, and we're going to be doing an opening. Um, those of you that are regular viewers know that um, I opened a sealed record once upon a time by a band called The True Believers, and it was cracked. So who knows what we're going to find in here. Since it was only a dollar each, um, I was willing to take a chance. I mean, if one out of three is bad, I'm still okay. So let's take a look at them. So first we have this weird soundtrack to this movie I've never actually seen called Roadie. Bands make it rock, but the roadies make it roll. And if you can see, we've got a big variety of people. Uh, we got people, we got rockers, we got new wave, we got uh, some country, we got some soul. You see, we're all over the place. Um, this came out in 1980. Apparently Meatloaf was the start of the movie and Art Kearney. Um, um, I saw Boz at that final channel show this got one about a week ago or so. It's a double record. It's a gatefold. Let's, all right, we've got it snapped open. Let's take a look. So here's the gatefold. And let's take a look at the records. So it looks like, okay, we got the original sleeve. Mine's a cutout. Oh, yeah, these records, this record looks like it's, it's flat. Looks like it's probably never been played or uh, played maybe once or twice. It's like a VG plus, VG plus plus near mint. Uh, this one, okay, so the, the, the sleeve is crinkled. But again, vinyl's flat, looks unplayed or virtually unplayed as well. They don't even look like they even need to take a trip in uh, the record cleaner. 
Um, so that one seems fine. Certainly worth a dollar. It's got to be enough good songs on there. So now we got the Who Face Dances. Um, and so this is generally not considered one of the Who's better albums. Of course, it has You Better You Bet as the hit uh, from 1981. So obviously this was after Keith Moon had died. And my understanding was You Better You Bet was the first video ever played more than once on MTV. So it was the first one that got played for a second time. Uh, Martin Popoff in the Contrarians episode a couple of years ago said that this was his favorite album by The Who. Uh, so again, I just kind of reached in and went up there. We've got, uh, looks like we have a poster. Yes, we have a poster. A poster of the cover. Very nice. It's got a little bit of folding on that one side looks like it never been unfurled. We got an original inner. Looks like it's in very good shape. And again, we have a record. We have another record. It's flat. And it's another one that's basically the vinyl's near mint. Another record that looks like it's never been played. Again, it doesn't even look like it needs to go through a record cleaner. And so now here's the interesting one. We got Charday with her debut album, Diamond Life. This is the one with, like, Smooth Operator on it. It's sealed, but of course I'm a little suspicious about it being sealed. Um, but again, it's got that price tag in the same way there. And you can see. One dollar. I know we got the weird glare of how I have my uh, camera perched on my desktop computer here, but let me go ahead and open this guy up. The, the, the shrink is pretty tight. All right, we got the, we got the shrink. There's no hype stickers, so the shrink will go. Of course, no hype stickers makes me at least slightly suspicious that maybe And it seemed like maybe it was stored in a somewhat humid environment because it seems like there's a little bit of moisture trapped under the shrink. But I've got it pulled off. Cover's in very nice shape. Pulling out the record. So again, the paper sleeve is crinkled. I think that might be just from the shrink um, shrinking in over the past um, many years. And again, seems like a, it's not cracked like True Believers. Seems, seems like basically a near mint Chardet record that I got for a dollar. So it seems like this was a huge score for me. I'll go play them and I'll come back and let you know if there's like something wrong with any of them. Yeah, so I checked them out. All the records are like first pressings, U.S. first pressings. Um, they all sound great. The Chardet sounds beautiful. The Chardet, um, it's like a first uh, Carrollton pressing. Median's 25. People are trying to work, are trying to sell sealed copies of it for 100 bucks and more. Now, I've never seen it. It's not sold for more than 48, so they're dreaming. But at a buck, they had an incredible bargain with that one. Uh, the Face Dances by The Who and that Roadie soundtrack. Those were both Winchester pressings. Those are both pretty common. Those are like $5 records, so they're nothing special. But that one's in good shape for a buck each.